Good morning, Madam No Hamzawati. My name is T Sun Er, and my metric number is zero three DPR twenty F one zero zero two from class DPR two B. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yi Zicheng, and my register number is zero three DPR twenty F ten forty. Okay. Good morning, the Puan. Uh, my name is Lim Wei Chen. My number metric is 03 DPR 20F1073 from DPR 2B. A very good morning to our honorable lecturer and my fellow classmates. I am Darshani Joshua of Gunasegare and my metric number is 03 DPR 20F1067. Okay, so today uh, our group will present the chapter 5.1, the definition of direct marketing and 5.1.2, the direct marketing media. Now I want to present about the definition of direct marketing. Direct marketing can define in which organization communicate directly with target consumer, customer to generate a response or a transaction. It involves a variety of activities, including database management, direct selling, telemarketing, and direct response through direct mails, the internet, and the various broadcasts and print media. Benefits of direct marketing to buyer is First, it's convenient, easy to use, and private. From the comfort of their homes and or office, they can browse mails, catalog, or company WhatsApp at any time. Second, Direct marketing gives buyers ready access to a wealth of products and information at home and around the global. Third is direct marketing channels give buyers access to, to a wealth of co cooperative information about companies, products, and competitors. The last is it is immediate and interactive for buyer can interact with seller by phone or on the seller's website to create exactly the configuration of information, products, or service they deserve, and then order them on the spot. Then, I will explain about benefit of direct marketing to seller. First is, it is a powerful tool for building customer relationship. Second, using database marketing nowadays, marketers can target small group or individual consumers, tailor their offerings as per individual needs, and promote these offers through personal personalized communication. Then is direct marketing can offer sellers a low cost, efficient alternative for reach, for reaching their market. Fourth is Direct marketing can also offer greater flexibility by allowing marketers to make ongoing adjustments in their price, programs, and promotion. And then I will explain about 5.1.2, that is the direct marketing media. A. Direct mail. Direct mailing is the most common form of direct marketing, also known as a junk mail. This can be done either through traditional mailing system or online mailing. News, news or offers are sent to con customers using the postal service. So now I will pass to Yi Ji Jin. Oh, thank you, Wei Chen. And next is type of direct mail. The most common type of direct mail include cell mailer created from a single printed sheet that has been folded. Envelope mailer with inside inside the envelope. Postcard with the promotional message on one side and the customer address on the other. Snack mailer pro and sit with pressure. Dimensional mailer, for example, a single box. And catalog. Type of sell technical used by business to sell their product using catalog. The list of items sold by the company is mentioned of a piece of paper on, on an 
online platform in the hot that the receiver will buy one or more thing from the catalog. And then is print catalog. A print catalog usually consists of a cover that annoys us with what type of item the price, the piece contains, followed by the items. Some catalog feature a single product catalog such as costing while other include a diverse collection of goods. The catalog contains photo and decision of the item as well as price and ordering information. Some come with order forms and return element with prepared postage. Other require shopper to order by phone. Catalog marketer use target mailing list to increase sales and decrease the printer and mailer cost associated with wasted circulation. Some printer, some print catalog are included with item sheet to online buyer to generate additional sales. And the next is online catalog to save on the cost of printer and mailer to allow retailer to upgrade price product and promotion more quickly. Some business put their product in an online catalog. The product are grouped and displayed in a similar fashion to a print catalog. But consumer can shop item by price, catalog manufacturer or other citizen. This catalog allows shopper to purchase immediately using a vention shopping chart and an electronic payment method. The advantage for catalog is easy to raise hundred and thousand of personal customers just by sending one mail. Second, seller don't wait for their customer to come to their store to make a purchase. Seller can send them details about their product and offers using catalog marketing. Third, low risk for failure of the business. A catalog business grows slowly. In this way, as a retailer, seller can start their business by making little investment in the beginning. Fourth, bitter cash flow as buyer is required to pay in advance if customer wants to buy something. Hence, sellers don't need to worry about their money getting stuck. The last one is better control over advertising expenses of seller spending their money to advertise to only target consumer rather than advertising to mass population. Okay. The disadvantage for catalog is catalog business grows slowly because sellers are required to win the uh, to win their customer to convert them into loyal customer. The second, the high initial investment of catalog marketing because the seller is not only need to produce catalog but also required to buy the list of prospective customer. The third one, low response rate. People are less responsive to catalog marketing because of the availability of different shopping platform. Next, seller require excellent writing skill to write details about the product. A poorly written catalog will create a negative image of your product. The last one is the catalog marketing business is always at a disadvantage when it comes to comparing with brick and mortar business. Because in a store, a buyer can try and physically see the product before buying it, which is not possible when sellers sell their product using catalogs. Okay. The, next, the next media is telemarketing. The telemarketing is called by a telephone marketing refer to using the telephone to sell directly to consumer and business customer. Marketer hires the telemarketer to sell directly to consumer and business. Properly designed and target telemarketing provide many benefits, okay. including purchasing convenience and increased product and service information. Okay, I pass to the next presenter. Thank you, Jason. Okay, I'm going to next media is home shopping. Home shopping is a direct to consumer shopping carried out from one's own house in which goods that are promoted on the internet or on a television channel. The development of toll free telephone numbers combined with the widespread use of credit cards has led to dramatic increase in the number of people who, st who shop via their TV sites through home shopping channels. There are main, three main types of 
shopping at first is mail or telephone ordering from catalogs at second is telephone ordering in response to advertisements in print and electronic media such as free radicals tv and radio and third is online shopping for an example for home, home shopping is go shop astro channel and zalora moving on to the next slide the next is kiosk marketing a kiosk refers to a small stall desk or booth that offers goods and certain basic services vendors operating from kiosk often sell small inexpensive goods also bigger stores or retail chains sometimes install small kiosks in airports supermarkets or transit point to offer their products outside of the traditional stores moving to the next slide so now let us look into the advantages of the using kiosk at first is improve customer buying experience the second is increase through diverse ap applications plus is moving on the next right slide Okay, the last media is mobile marketing. It is media contain audio, image, video captured with or shared through a mobile interface or a mobile device that enables the capture and sharing of a media content. Mobile devices provide users the ability to communicate with one another and access media while on the go. Mobile media devices include smartphones, PDAs, and other handheld portable devices. They allow users to access the internet and send or receive information from almost anywhere with a signal. So that's all from us today. Thank you. Hey, thank you.